So I just filled up my little Ford Ranger at the gas station and I put in 173 freaking dollars of fuel. Now I don't know if you've seen what I'm driving, but I'm driving a Ranger. I'm driving a little Ranger. I'm driving efficiently. I'm driving well. I'm putting in $173 worth of fuel twice a week for 14 gallons. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm spending $400 a week on freaking fuel? What kind of a backwards country are we living in anyway? $400 worth of fuel, it's costing me freaking 75 cents a mile just for the freaking pump, for the price of the fuel out of the pump. The cost of living in Belize is ridiculous and the government says they don't know how to pay the taxes. They pushed the freaking gum prices up to the roof. Now we're paying $225 a year to own a freaking gun. That means I can buy a new gun every four years. I can buy a brand spanking new gun for the price of a license for those four years. So we're no longer able to defend ourselves. All the lazy asses can't make any money anymore with their little side job. Now they have to go and rob everybody. We can't afford to own guns. We can't afford to shoot our bullets in the first place. The guns have 110% duty on them. We can't afford ammunition. You're talking $65 for 50 shots. Foreigners can't defend themselves anymore. We're looking at $1,500 a year for a license to own a firearm. And a firearm up in the US, you're paying 600 US for a brand new Glock 19. You bring it down here, you pay $3,500 for that same Glock 19 because of the cost of importing and because of the stupid freights and, and all the duty you pay at the border, taxes. And then you have people driving these old piece of shit rickety cars all over the roads, all over you'll see. Old pieces of crap that people are driving because they can't afford new cars anymore. These vehicles are not safe, they're crashing all the time running off the road, pieces falling off, they don't know why people get killed inside because they're old crashed up vehicles because nobody can afford a new vehicle because the duty is so ridiculously high on a new vehicle. I'm telling you, this government is freaking retarded. Take these brand new vehicles, charge the minor rental tax if you want, but drop the duty to zero. If you buy a brand new vehicle, you're paying 0% duty. And every year that that vehicle gets older, we'll add 5% duty. A 10 year old vehicle, you have a 50% duty. So, you better buy a 5 year old newer vehicle and pay less duty. Then we'll have nice vehicles on the road. And no tolerance of this junky repair stuff. You know, half the vehicles that drive in, even in this town, when they want to leave the country to come to the Chittimaw border, they can't cross the border because they're on a salvage title. Even Mexico has stricter laws on what kind of vehicle you're driving on no tolerance on salvage titles than Belize. We're driving old, frick, my truck I know. I bet you they bought that on a salvage title. Doesn't look bad from the outside. My goodness, some of these guys, the vehicles I see on this road, you wouldn't believe. But, I mean, who can afford it? Who can afford the fuel in the first place? Freaking eleven seventy-three a gallon. Worst of all, we have shit fuel here. If at least we had decent fuel for eleven seventy-three, I mean, it's not like we're in Norway or something. In Norway, they pay fourteen dollars a gallon. But I guarantee you, they've got premium fuel there. Ain't no nonsense stuff that's gonna burn up your engine. No, I'm telling you, this country's freaking ridiculous. Our government's mismanaged their money for so long and they have no clue what they're doing. All they can think about now is increase the taxes, increase the taxes, maybe somehow we can get enough money to pay our bills. Help, 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 help. And they have no idea what they're doing. They have no clue how to 
create revenue, how to make the economy turn. They have no idea what it takes to promote business. They probably, most of them have never owned a business. All they've done all their life is freaking cheat and steal. Bloody thieves, a lot of them. I'm telling you, it's time we start, all of us start speaking up just like this, all right? We make videos, we post them. That's the first step. Second step, we get active. Talk in the streets, talk to everybody, get everybody involved. And then run to be the prime minister, run to be a minister, run to be a senator, do something, freaking get involved in the government and change this crap. Businessman, I'm talking to you. Time to get active, time to change this country. This is nonsense. I'm telling you, this country is a gold mine. Woo! We could all be millionaires in this country with a couple hundred acres of land, a little bit of ranching. There's a lot of corn to be planted. There's a lot of, there's a lot of pineapple to raise, citrus. I mean, the global market is desperate, desperate for tropical fruits, for avocados, for oranges, for pineapples. There is billions to be made in this country. And anybody can make them. All you need is a little piece of land, and anybody has land in this country apparently because you can just squat and take it. Look at the Bengal Pankas. Thousands of premium property being stolen, taken as squatter land. <sighs> now, you know what? We need to stand up, all right? We need to look, raise our voice. We speak up. We don't tolerate this crap anymore, all right? When you see some corruption, you see a cop taking a bribe, report him. Ask the badge number. Give him a call. Simple as that. Re pull out your phone and record the guy right there. Don't tolerate corruption anymore. Hey, I work law enforcement. I work on the road, all right? But when I pull somebody over, I'm on the level, all right? I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna tell you, get your stuff in order, else you're gonna serve the penalty, all right? We don't mess around anymore. But I'm not gonna go out there asking for freaking bribes. I'm not gonna be out there tolerating crap on the road because I'm fixing up my country, I'm fixing up my roads, and that's what we all gotta do. We gotta do our part to fix up our country. Quit screwing around, let everybody jack off out there. Letting people off the hook for nothing, taking bribes, giving bribes. This stuff has to stop. If we want to change this country, we got to start right here. Me, right here, number one, I'm changing this, all right? When I see corruption, when I see uh, lack of professionalism, when I see these very poor behavior in law enforcement, especially or in government, especially in those two categories, anywhere else too, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, law enforcement and government are supposed to be the examples. They're supposed to be the ones who keep this country in order. And if they keep slacking off, we're in deep trouble because they're supposed to be the ones leading us in the right direction. They're supposed to keep it, they're supposed to be keeping us on the right track. So we need to speak up when we see them getting out of track and we need to get them back on track and make them fix their problem. And you know, if we start speaking up, corrupt cops are gonna get fired. Corrupt ministers are gonna have to leave their positions. And this country is going to start changing little by little, but we have to speak up. Okay, because I can't afford to pay $400 every week for fuel. I mean, granted, I drive a lot more than most people, but still, $400 for a measly 600 miles, something like it. I'm sorry. Well, there's my rant, and I really hope. You know, let's all do something. Let's do our part, and we're going to change this country. It won't take forever, all right? But we got to do our part and spread the word, spread it out to everybody else around us. Everybody gets involved. We get this country turning. Once you get that big ship turning, it's hard to stop the turn, but it's really hard to begin. We got to start that turn. Once we get that ship starting to turn around, we're on our way. Once we're turned around, heading in the right direction, ain't nobody stopping us then, all right? Be encouraged. But this is a beautiful country. There's tons of opportunity. We're barely developing. Don't be discouraged, right? But the thing that's killing us all is the corrupt politicians at the top, the corrupt law enforcement that doesn't keep them in check, that doesn't keep them accountable, and then all the lazy people on the street that don't want to do anything about it, just want to live on the handouts, we want to live from day to day and never do any, never make any real effort at changing this country. All right, thank you. Have yourself a wonderful weekend and a very good evening. Thank you.